Hi, this is Sheila. Hi, this is Jennifer. And welcome back to a southern recipe today. Yes, and it's starting to get cold. We were talking about the fall uh -huh. is here. And I don't know about you, but I start to get hungry. Like when the weather starts to turn, don't you? Yes, I'm hungry now. I know. <laughs> she's like, she's like, can we just like eat now and then do yeah. the recipe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to do a white chicken chili. That sounds real good. It does, doesn't it? It does. So, you know, a lot of people will go to the grocery store and pick up a rotisserie chicken and you never know what to do with all the leftovers. You know, you can make a soup. Well, this is the perfect recipe to do leftovers with your rotisserie chicken. You can either shred it up. Or go to the grocery store and buy one. <laughs> or just buy one and eat it. <laughs> yeah, you can get it in packets. So we've got two cups of shredded chicken in here. Yeah. And now this can be done in a uh, crock pot or on, on the just stove. the stove. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't have time and you want to just throw it in a crock pot before you go to work. I don't never have time. She never has time, so this would be a <laughs> crock pot recipe for Sheila. <laughs> yes, so. it would. All right, so she's going to add this chicken in. We've got okay. two cups of shredded chicken that we've already shredded up. That's easy enough. Okay. And I've got chicken broth. You're going to want to use two and a half cups of the chicken broth. And you may want to add a little bit more. It just depends on if it starts thickening too much and you want a little bit more liquid in there. You just kind of, kind of keep an eye on it. Um, it depends on... If you like your soup uh, or chili soupy. creamy or yeah. soupy. Yeah. Soupy or a little bit thicker and chunky. Now we're going to need uh, two cans of Great Northern Beans. I've already got these open. All right. So I'll dump those in. And make sure these are already drained. Which we've already done. We open them. We also have a third can that we have already mashed up. Um, this will help thicken your chili a little bit more. So we've taken that third can and we've mashed it up. So I'm going to put that in there. Sheila can stir that around. Kind of like you do mashed potatoes. Just going to mash those beans up and that will help thicken the sauce. Kind of looks like refried beans. Yeah, a little bit. Now we're going to use the Rotel and green chilies. Okay. A can of that. Bring it on, Jennifer. And now this is mild. Um, if you want it a little spicier, you could probably get the uh, regular, just regular Rotel uh, green chilies or the one with cilantro in it. You could do that. So that would help spice things up. And we also have a can of green chilies. So this is just regular green chilies chopped and we're just gonna dump that in there. That's gonna give it a little bite. And a little color. That's good. And some more color. Corn. We love corn. Know. You, know, we, you know, Steve used to stop on the side of the road. Did he not? We would be yeah. driving through Iowa or something like that and he would, he would stop on the side of the road and he would go through the corn thing and we would get corn. They always had those stands on the, the side of the- sweet corn. Yeah, um, the sweet corn stands. And we, we would stop and he would go to the, the hotel room and he would make us sweet corn on the road. And so. we had, how many corn, ears of corn did we have oh, each? I don't know, I mean, it, it was, was a lot. All I know is we were eating corn. <laughs> we had we corn was, everywhere. We, had cor we were corned out. <laughs> Every time we'd go by, he would stop though, it was so funny. So we're gonna add a can of corn, drained already. Yes, he loved corn. <laughs> yes, he did. So now I've got some onions chopped up here and some minced garlic. And I've got about a cup of that and a, about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute this up first so that they don't have to, so they get a little brown and so that they don't have to cook as long. So we're just going to stick this in a little skillet or you could put it in the microwave. And we're just going to, you know, make sure that those onions get semi partially cooked before we put it in the crock pot. Okay, so we're going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. And maybe a teaspoon of butter. And the reason you wanna add that in with olive oil is so that the garlic doesn't burn. And I'm just gonna let that heat up. So and then I'm gonna add our cup of onions. It's got a little bit over a cup. And those are already ready to go. And we're just gonna stir those up, saute those a little bit. Okay, so once we have that almost cooked and they're kind of turned clear, we're gonna add our garlic in. And you don't wanna cook this too long, just a little bit for flavor before we add it in there. And we're just gonna mix that around. And we're gonna dump that into our pot. We're gonna to want to put seasoning, and now I've got a teaspoon of red pepper. I've got a tablespoon and a half of chili powder. 
I've got some salt and pepper. And so I'm just going to mix that up and we're going to put that in there. And now if you want a little hotter, you can maybe adjust some of those and maybe you could just do that to taste, pretty much seasoning to taste. So we're just going to put that in there, mix that all up. And I've also got some granulated chicken bouillon and we're just going to put a tablespoon of that in there for some extra chicken flavor. That's probably that right there. Yeah, you can smell the flavors. Come on in here and oh, check yeah. out the flavors. <laughs> That's really <laughs> check good. Check it out. Come on. If you could smell this, you'd be like, all oh, right. Awesome. And I, I've also got some sour cream that I'm going to put in. Now, we're going to we're gonna garnish this uh, with, with sour cream at the end, but we're also going to put some in there because it's white chicken chili. So mm -hmm. we're going to put some of that in there and get all that sour cream. And in addition to that, I've got a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. And we're gonna wait on that until towards the end after it's been in the crock pot for a little while. Um, maybe right before we just stir this in at the very end. You can put the crock pot on six hours on low. Or if you wanna cook it faster. Yeah. We can do four hours, or well, three to four hours yeah. on high, so. But most everything's already cooked, so it's not gonna take too long. And like we said, we can, you can always just and, put this on the stove. And mine's always uh, four hours on high. <laughs> Cause she was in a hurry to eat. <laughs> six to eight on mine. She wants it done. <laughs> so we're going to put this on and we will be back. So we added a cup of Monterey Jack cheese to this. About 20 minutes before we're ready to serve it. Yeah. And we stir it up. Doesn't that look great? Yeah, this is hot. I know. Oh. So it oh looks oh. yummy. Oh. She's like, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat this. <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> Me than that, too, though. please. Okay. And so now you can garnish this um, with a little bit more Monterey Jack cheese. Um, we're going to top it with a little bit of sour cream and cilantro and, and some crunchy stuff. So we've got Monterey Jack right there. You can sprinkle yes. some of that on top. Okay. Here we go. That's Me good. too, please. Got it. Got you it, know what else was in there? Cheese. Oh, we love cheese. <laughs> cheese and corn. Cheese and corn. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Sure. And then we've got, uh, I've got crunchy fried onions and she's got tortilla chips. Now you could you could use whatever you like. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fried crunchy onions, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of those on top. A little bit of sour cream. I've got my little squirt bottle here. I'm just gonna, I like I like the little squirt because you can make them really cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doctor this up, girl. That's right. And then we'll put a little bit of cilantro. I've already got some fresh cilantro and that, that'll make it spicy. You and get a bite of pretty. that and, and pretty. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's try this. Mix this thing up. And this looks delicious. Ready? It looks very hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They're really great. Mmm. This yeah. is good with the chips. And this is truly comfort food. I mean, yes. like when it's cold uh -huh. out and you want to eat something good, this is the ticket right Warm. here. Warm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. String. <laughs> String. Cheese. Here. Okay. You want to try? Yeah. The Here. Onion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take your cheese with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give it, give it. Yeah, stringy cheese going across there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try this with okay. the corn chips now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Stringy. These are good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good, huh? It's going to take all winter to get this cheese off of you. <laughs> If this is not the best white chicken chili, if, if it, it ain't, it, it ought to be. be. So thanks again for liking and sharing. And subscribing. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And visit us on ShotgunRed.com where you can submit a recipe. And if we use it on the show, we will send you a free DVD of the Shotgun Red Show Live. Exactly. 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 And we've got some new things coming. Please join our free membership on there as well. And you will be notified about the new things that we've got coming up soon. Very soon. A lot soon. of things. A lot of things. So we're excited about them. So we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. Well, you know, as, as the weather starts to turn, don't you just like feel like you're getting hungrier and, you know, that kind of thing? Can we stop now and eat? Yeah. <laughs> with the leftover chicken. If you don't have any leftovers, go to the store and get one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't, you just buy a chicken and shred it up. 
Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.